so it's very late it's like 20 to 1 in the morning usually I'm in bed by this stage but it's exceptionally hot like I mean very hot it's like 20 degrees and I can't sleep and a moving house so I've been packing I've been moving stuff down to the car which is where I am and been thinking Anyway, uh, what I thought I'd do is I'd review the album that I've been listening to, which is Father John Misty's first album, Fear Fun. So, uh, I never knew that uh, he was the drummer in the Fleet Foxes before, like, a couple of weeks ago when I bought I bought, a, bought his latest albums, and I thought it was good, and then I bought the other two. So, I'm going to give it a listen. And I'm gonna let you know what I think, and maybe by the end of it, I'll be able to go to bed. So let's uh, let's give it a run through. <laughs> So I'm actually have to hold it down with my thumb, <laughs> so it's a bit brighter, but uh, probably not for the whole thing. So yeah, listen to that. Enjoy this. Actually, it's um, I don't know if it's fair to compare it to the Fleet Foxes, whom I really like, but like I know he, he was only drummer in them for one album, but I think comparisons are inevitable. A lot of reverb. I did not mind, but it did remind me a bit of James Vincent McMorrow. This last album I didn't like, there was way too much reverb on it. It was the last album we could have had another one since that one I didn't like, I haven't kept up with them as a result, but no. I liked it, I like Father John Misty's album here, um, Lights Going Off, yeah, so I can pick it up again. Um, I think I like the, fr like it is divided into an A side and a B side, which is nice on a <laughs> CD album. But I think I definitely prefer side A to side B. There's a lot of uh, American country music influence. I can definitely hear that in the album. And while I actually like um, American roots music and a bit of country music, I feel the more creeps into it, the more it takes away from the overall sound. Like that he should have, if he wanted to make a country album, he should have pursued that. The places where the influence is there, but it's there at its lightest. I find the album's at strongest, however, however, when he fully embraces it, um, I feel the fact that it's still this indie album takes away from the country aspect of it. And that's just me. It's me mincing genres. Like, it's uh, definitely more singer-songwriter. Uh, got a lot more um, country and sort of jazzy numbers in there. Some of them are nice, some of them not so nice. Uh, I think it was a bit long for an album as well, 12 tracks, like... Like you could feel it was a bit stretched at times, I think. So, right, I'm rambling a bit, so uh, conclusions on uh, Father John Misty here. Good album, uh, nice production, nice instrumentation, very nice in instrumentation, I must say. Uh, good rhythm on it. Um, some of the songs are very nicely produced, very nicely vocalised. And downsides, I say it's a bit long at some point. I think the country music influence is to its detriment in more places than it's to its credit, and if to go for a favorite song, I would say I'm writing a novel. So uh, 